hello. I must apologise for being late. I've just done a socially distanced walks with a client um, who's back to work tomorrow. So I'm walking her dog for her. So I must apologise. We were out in the woods. We got talking um, and I completely lost track of time. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, and that's the reason why this live is coming from my van. I'm on the edge of the forest. Um, but as I, I was trying to get here as soon as I possibly could. So I'm really sorry. Normally I will be here at 10 o'clock on a Monday. Um, but as I, I just had to fit in that quick walk with a client. Anyway, so today's topic is puppies that won't walk on the lead. Now, this is an amazingly common problem that a lot of people have. And the main reason for this is your puppy's confidence, is they just need to build that confidence up. So if you think about it, for the first eight weeks of your puppy's life, they've been living in their breeder's house. They may have been in the breeder's garden, but they won't have gone very far. So when you start walking your puppy, sorry, then you bring them home and they then spend a couple of weeks at least in your house before they have their vaccinations and they're ready to go out for a walk. They haven't actually been out in the outside world, so everything is very new to them. Now, when you start walking your puppy, everything is extremely new and novel. So there's lots of interesting smells, lots of things going on around them, the sights and sounds. And this is the reason why a lot of puppies don't want to walk, is they're just so interested with everything that's going on around them. So when you are walking a new puppy, if they are a bit reluctant, let them take time to check these things out. Now, this is something I talk about in the loose lead walking course as well. And a lot of their issue is to slow down when they're walking, and actually encourage them to kind of spend time looking and checking out the sights and sounds of things going on around them. So when you've got a new puppy, it's a great skill to get into to encourage that kind of slow walking, encourage them to check things out. So in the practical puppy course, that's the training course, we do cover lead work and leisure mode walking, which is where you walk along with your puppy. It doesn't matter where they are in relation to you. They can potter along. Um, but the idea is the lead must be loose. And I say this is something in the training course. We do teach the more formal heel work, which is where they walk by your side. Um, but we teach it slightly later on in the course. And this is something that I really don't do a lot of with puppies. Um, it's in the course mainly because of customers' expectations and they want to kind of, it's good to get them started on it. But that kind of loose lead plodding along is what you want from your little puppy. So really don't worry if they won't walk and allow them time to check out and see what's going on around them. It won't be forever. Um, they will pick up the pace and they will be keen to go for walks. But it's just while they're little, they want to see what's going on around them and what's happening. It's perfectly normal. And if you think about it, also with a little puppy is you've got to restrict their exercise because of their joints, particularly if they're a large breed. So actually, if you're not going to travel much distance, it's actually quite good and it's better for their joints anyway at the end of the day. So on a topic of joints, when they say five minutes per month for a walk, that is kind of walking at a decent pace. The pottering along that I want you to do, you can almost be out for as long as you need to because your dog is not walking at a constant pace. They're stopping, they're sniffing, they're checking things out. So you're not restricted on time as long as your dog isn't walking full pelt for the, the time that you're out for. Um, if they are pottering along sniffing, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's no different to how they are when they're at home or in the garden. Wandering along, they chop, stop, they check things out, they kind of plod along calmly. So there's no problem there at all. But I want you actually to encourage your puppy to walk slowly rather than try and take them on a route march. Because actually at the end of the day, it'll be so much easier for you to get better lead work. So... That's a bit about the subject. I'm a bit flustered because I had to rush and do this live quickly and I don't normally do them in the van. Um, I've got my little mate Ember here. Come on, Ember, come say hello. So this is Ember. Um, she's in the puppy practical puppy videos. Um, she's one of the main demo dogs for doing it. She's now eight months old, so she's a bit older than... I say she was tiny in the videos. She came out with me for my walk to meet my client. Um, and I say I must apologise again for being late. Um, it's really not something I would want to do. Um, but I say these things happen. And I say, so I'm here anyway. Um, I will put together some more notes and send them out on an email on Friday, along with this video to everybody that's subscribed. 
don't forget to check out the free part of the family mini course. Um, there's loads of information in there. You've got five videos that cover sleeping, keeping your puppy calm, feeding, shows you how to teach a basic trick, um, talks about toilet training, talks about play. It's completely free. So it's well worth signing up for. Um, just go to the website, um, dogownertrainingschool.co.uk and you can sign up there. So that's really, really worth it. And then we also have the puppy training um which okay includes a bit of everything um so it's worth checking that out there while you're on the website as well so i'll leave you to that for now um as i will re-watch and add in some notes of all the stuff that i've forgotten to say like i always do on a friday um and i'll see you same time next monday or no 10 o'clock next monday um and i will be there on time yes so i will see you then have a great day if you've got any questions, please post them below this um, or feel free to send me a message. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye.